Hi friends, how are you all? Welcome to Buell's Kitchen and today's recipe is going to be mutton chops. Uh, mutton chops curry is very famous in India and especially in Karnataka they make it uh, along with the ragi balls. Ragi balls they say it in Kannada mudde. So it will be very very yummy. It will go very well with the white steamed rice and chapati. So anything like idli, dosa. So it's going to be a thick gravy. So we're going to make that now. Now friends, the first thing what we need is the mutton chops. Here's the mutton chops. Uh, I say it's about half a kg. So we just bought it uh, uh, from Indian shop. So that's the first thing you need. Uh, the next thing what we need is the onion. I have three large onion. I just roughly chopped it because we're going to grind that. And I have two medium sized tomatoes and I have some min mint and uh, coriander. I'm going to grind that as well. And this is uh, ginger garlic paste along with a little bit of chilies. And this is green chilies, 10 to 15. It's according to your heat, uh, you can take it. And some curry leaves. I have some lime, uh, lime for the last. And uh, here is the coriander seeds. This is about uh, three tablespoons. I have um, Bengal gram, and that's in Tamil they say potukarle. That is about uh, two tablespoons. And one teaspoon of uh, peppercorns. And one teaspoon of uh, um, garam masala. 1 teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder and um, half a cup of uh, coconut that's all we need friends and some oil to cook it I'll show you how to make it now friends first we'll uh, fry the masalas so we'll just fry the onion so just uh, we'll add some cooking oil just about 3 tablespoon cooking oil So friends, the oil is hot now, so just add some uh, onion. And some curry leaves. And the green chilies. Now friends, we're going to add the tomatoes as well and the coriander and the mint. And here with the coriander seeds, just going to add the coriander seeds as well. And here's the pepper pounds. That's it. I'm just gonna fry this nicely. Just a few minutes. Now friends, this onion and tomato and the green chilies and the coriander and mint curry leaves, everything has been uh, fried nicely now. So what we're going to do is, we're just gonna keep this aside and let it cool down and we're going to grind it as a paste and we're going to add it now friends we're going to cook the mutton chops so for that we just taken a cooker so i'm just going to put a little bit of oil and little bit of onion just very little And little bit of uh, turmeric powder. Now our mutton chop is going inside. Now friends, uh, we're going to add a teaspoon of salt. If you have the, the raw salt, uh, rock salt, you can use it, but I don't have it, so I'm just using this. So just give it a mix. Now 
Now we're going to add some water. Just going to add a little bit of water, a glass of water, just for the mutton to cook. We're going to cook this four whistles and we're going to add it in the curry. So we're just going to put the lid on. So we'll wait for four whistles, friends. So let it uh, cook on the other stove. So now we're going to take the masala paste, which is uh, cold now. So we're going to put it in the mixy jar. Now we're going to add this um, Bengal gram, the same, and then the coconut. And the garam masala and the turmeric powder. That's it, and we're going to grind this with a little bit of water. Now friends, we're gonna we're gonna keep this uh, masala ready. Just gonna keep it in a pan. So this is the one going to give the uh, mutton chops curry uh, flavor and the thickness. So my mutton is cooking now. So I'm just gonna wait for four whistles. It smells yummy, friends. I'm just going to add a little water. Now friends, uh, my paste is ready here. This is the one going to give the thickness to the curry. So we're going to make the curry now. By the time when the mutton chops are ready, we're going to add it at the final. So we're going to use the same pan. So add some oil. I'm going to add about 3 tablespoons. Just wait for the oil to heat up. Now friends, we're going to add everything in here, all the rest of the onions and the coriander and everything, mint. Ginger garlic paste as well. Give it a fry. Just fry it two to three minutes until the raw smell goes off from the ingredients. Mushroom is my favorite food I ever tasted. It was so yummy. Now, friends, my onion and garlic and everything has been uh, fried nicely. Now, this is the time we're going to add our uh, masala. Now friends, this is the time we're going to adjust the water. So I'm going to add about a cup of water here. So just adjust your consistency according to your family need. So this is, uh, we're going to eat with the uh, raggy balls. So that's why I'm making in this consistency. Now friends, finally we're going to add some salt here. Just for the curry. We have already added a little bit in the mutton chops as well. So make sure that you don't um, put too much and just give it a mix and cover it and cook it for 10 minutes until the raw smell, raw, raw flavor goes off from this curry. 
Now friends, we're gonna add the mutton. My mutton chops has been cooked now. It's been four to five years since I've cooked it now. You can have a look at it. So we're gonna add it in the curry. So the curry is getting ready here. So just give it a mix. We're gonna add the chops inside. So just cook it for another 5 to 10 minutes. Um, once the curry is a little bit thick, we're going to stop it and uh, we're going to serve it along with the ragi ball and we're going to taste it and see how it is. Now friends, our uh, mutton uh, chops curry is ready now. So I've made the ragi ball as well. So we're going to enjoy this for our lunch and uh, this is a Karnataka special and uh, my husband's favorite food. And this is very very good for your health. If you get the ragi powder, you can make this very simple. And we're gonna taste it and see how it is. So just take a little bit like this and just dip it in the curry. And I'm gonna ask my little boy to taste it and see. Say how it is. Hello everybody. It's very tasty friends. We're gonna enjoy this for lunch. Thank you so much for watching our video friends. We will see you in the next video. If you like our video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. And we will upload nice simple and yummy recipes in the future. God bless. Take care. Bye bye.